Vice President Harris will be watching the results from her alma mater of Howard University in Washington, D.C. Yeah, and excitement is really building on campus about the potential of one of its most famous graduates becoming the next president of the United States. And ABC 7 News anchor Julian Glover is live from the campus tonight. Julian, you've been talking with students. Uh, must be incredibly exciting. What are they telling you? Heather, good evening, Dan and Kristen. Yes, they are incredibly excited. Uh, hello and welcome from Washington, D.C., our home for at least the next couple of nights, maybe the next several nights, depending on how quickly those election results roll in. Uh, those students from the Bay Area have been telling me they're excited, they're optimistic, they're proud. And, you know, leading up to this big week, there's been a lot of discussion, lots of discourse on if Vice President Kamala Harris has been doing enough to reach the youngest voters, those Gen Z voters. Here at her alma mater, it's Team Harris Walls all the way. Crews are busy putting barriers in place on Howard University's campus ahead of Vice President Kamala Harris's election night watch party on the yard. Security is tight and excitement is high. Seeing a girl, a woman from Oakland, California, having a chance and hopefully we get this dub tomorrow, <laughs> winning, becoming president, it's just amazing. Like, I honestly believe anything is possible, honestly. Brandon Horton is from Vallejo and Kamaya Jacobs is from Richmond. They're both a part of the Cali Club, Howard students hailing from the Golden State. They've been getting out the word to get out and vote. I feel like no candidate is perfect, but at the same time, it's like, who can best fit my needs? Um, like I am a woman. A lot of like things that she is fighting for and trying to push for benefit me as a black woman. Vice President Harris graduated from Howard University in 1986 from the School of Arts and Sciences. It'll be the backdrop for a potential victory speech if she's successful. Dr. Marilyn C. Folkle taught Harris in 1985, just her second year teaching. There are no words for it. It's, uh, I'm very excited. Um, I, I, she deserves the presidency, I think so. She, she's, uh, she's fantastic. And as a student already, she was a, a good student, a great student, a brilliant student. Jacob Monroe is a sophomore at Howard. At just 19 years old, this is the first election he's eligible to vote in. His father has known Harris since they were teenagers. For Monroe, she's an inspiration. I remember the first speech I went to uh, of her was her attorney general inaugural speech. And during that speech, she actually looked at me and my brother and told, her, told us that we're the future of America. And ever since then, that uh, memory's kind of stuck with me, and I kind of carry that on throughout my life. No matter the result, these Howard Bison couldn't be more proud of their most famous alumna. If Vice President Kamala Harris wins the presidency, what would your message be to her? I would thank her as well for paving the way for all of us. I'd probably let her know that she'll be voting for me as well pretty soon because I'm like, she's inspired so many of us. I think a lot of us have been saying like, who's next? Who's going to run for president next? Classes were held remotely on class today, so those students weren't skipping class to be able to speak with me. Uh, they'll be held remotely for the rest of the week, except for tomorrow on Election Day, where classes are canceled. Uh, as for that election night watch party at the yard, uh, just through those barriers here on campus, it's actually closed off to students, but many of them have been telling me they hope to get as close as possible to take in a small slice of history. For now, reporting live here in Washington, I'm Julian Glover, ABC 7 News. Julian, can you give us a sense for, you know, the security there, but also, you know, if she's going to be there and also all the other Kamala supporters, what that's all going to look like? As you can imagine, security is understandably very tight. Uh, Any time that you have a sitting vice president, any time that you have a presidential candidate, uh, that will be amongst folks in this open space, which the yard is. Uh, it's a communal space in the middle of several buildings on campus where kids come to hang out between classes. They host concerts for homecoming. So these barriers have been placed all around the Howard University campus to make sure that anyone who's not supposed to be inside of this protected area is not uh, obviously security top of mind after those two attempts on former president Donald Trump's right. life. So uh, we'll have to see. There's lots of excitement here on campus and many of the students who've been walking to and fro uh, tell us they cannot wait to see those election night results rolling. What, an, ex you. what an experience for them uh, and for you, Julian, giving us great coverage there. Thanks so much.